Welcome to Janet's Planet, where we are traveling at the speed of thought. Come with me on an out-of-this-world adventure journey! Isaac. Oh, hey, Janet. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm, uh, I'm trying to learn all I can about Pluto, but I don't know where to start. Oh, you know, every planet has a beginning. Yeah. Pluto was first discovered by Clyde Tombaugh in 1930. Who's Clyde Tombaugh? Ah, uh, Mr. Tombaugh was an American astronomer who discovered the Kuiper Belt, wow. lots of asteroids, wow. and even argued for the scientific research of unidentified flying objects. UFOs! <laughs> yep, UFOs. After his family farm was destroyed by a storm, Clyde couldn't go to college. Instead, he built his own telescope out of old farm machine parts and his dad's 1910 Buick. He drew pictures of Jupiter and Mars and sent them to the Lowell Observatory, and they offered him a job. Oh, gee golly! I got a job! Mom! Clyde spent thousands of hours examining the night sky. He painstakingly took pictures of one small area at a time. Using a special machine called a blink comparator, he was able to see a moving light behind Neptune. Oh my gosh! It's a planet! It's a little wobbly planet! Eureka! On February 18th, 1930, after only 10 months on the job, Mr. Tombaugh discovered Pluto. Whoa! Wow, that's so cool! I know, right? Yeah, hey, hey Janet, how did Pluto get his name? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. It's one of my favorite stories. There was an 11-year-old girl named Venetia Burney Fair from Oxford, England, and her papa worked for the Royal Astronomical Society. Oh. And when she heard that a new planet had been discovered, she wanted to name it Pluto after the god of the underworld because Pluto was so dark and far away. Oh, man. <laughs> I wish I could name a planet. And also, Clyde Tombaugh discovered tons of asteroids that he named after members of his family. There is even one named after him called Asteroid 1604 Tombaugh. Wowzers! <laughs> I want an asteroid named after me too! Well, maybe one day that'll happen. Man, I hope so! Hey, and did you also know that NASA's New Horizons spacecraft is on its way to Pluto right now? <gasps> hey, maybe if we set a course, we can catch up with it. Yeah, yeah! I I'll set up the turbo thing drives. Oh, fantastic. Hey, would you like to come with us? Maybe we'll discover a planet or an asteroid. <gasps> Ooh, or maybe that Pluto's not a dwarf planet after all. Let your mind revolve around this thought. The universe is always expanding. Let your mind do the same. And that's the view from Janet's planet. <laughs>